Hi, I'm Aaron from the Safe Mission team, here to talk to you about how to test emergency lighting and why we do this. We test it on a monthly basis to make sure that it works properly in between servicing visits. They look like this, they look like this, they look like this, and they look like this. Emergency lights are basically just a light that has a battery backup. Under normal conditions, like now, electricity is going into the emergency light and going into the battery and that's powering the light and charging the battery. In an emergency situation, the power would be cut and the battery would be activated, and that's how they work. All emergency lights have an LED on them. This is there to indicate whether or not there's power going to the light and the battery is charging. Under normal situations, this light should be on. If you're looking around your building and you see this light is not on, you know there's a problem with the battery or the light itself. Emergency lights are there to light up which way you should go if there's a fire and a power cut. That's why you'll often find that they have a sign inbuilt on them depending on what part of the building that they're found in. Non-maintained lights are exactly the same except under normal conditions they stay off and they only come on if there's a power cut. There are two options for testing emergency lighting. The first one that we're going to talk about is this one here. Throughout your building you may have lots of sockets on the wall and keys like this. So the idea being put the key into the socket and it's just like a light switch you just click it into test mode and that will simulate the power being cut to the emergency light. Check that all of the emergency lights in that area have come on and then when you finish checking this click it back into normal mode. The second option of testing emergency lighting in the building is to go to your electrical distribution board or your power supply or your trip switches like we have done here and then to look which circuits relate to lighting and just to turn them off. It has the same effect as the other method. Let me show you. Once you've checked them all, just turn them back on. If your distribution board or your switches aren't labelled, like they are here, then you can ask your servicing engineer when they come to service your emergency lighting or an electrician when they come to do work on the electrical distribution board or power supply to label them for you. Once you've carried out the testing, make sure you record it in Appendix G of the fire folder. If you identify any problems during your testing, please contact DHQ, Property and Facility Services or your servicing engineer to make sure that it gets fixed. Thanks for watching. For more information, go to the Safe Mission pages on the internet or contact us directly. The second option for testing the emergency lighting is to go to your electrical cupboard, your distribution board, find your trip switches, and turn off the relevant ones. <laughs> <laughs>